Good architecture contributes to people's lives. And that's what it's all about, giving people another perspective. It was, it was, a, it was like a dream. It was a very uh, special moment. It was an honor to be there with Zaha at opening next door. From um, the artistic uh, avant-garde studio, we became a commercially uh, sound studio. And that totally boosted up my confidence. I moved to Los Angeles at 20. I studied there at UCLA, and then, uh, then I was practicing at Frank Gehry. It was such an international office, people coming from all over the place. California offered me lots of opportunity to look at things in a different way. Following Los Angeles, I was in London uh, designing for Zahadi's Architects, and that was another international office. It was a great experience. As you get older, you realize who you are, and the more you're exposed to different people and different culture, you became more aware of what you're made of. Coming from this unique, privileged island, that I realized that I have another perspective and I have another thing to offer. Uh, what I've been accumulating during the years. And having achieved these buildings, realizing these buildings, in 2016, I set up my own company, Safed Kaya Architects, and practice under my name and doing uh, projects all over. Construction laboratory, student services. This one, which is Science and Technology Center, which is a, a smart building. We research on sustainability, solar panels, thermal chimneys with uh, natural ventilation. And now um, we have upcoming open theater. And what is exciting about it? Because it's a one time unique uh, opportunity to design a public arena like this. It's kind of a park, it's kind of an auditorium. It's a hard landscape composition with soft landscape. We're bringing uh, students and people together for concerts, for graduation, and for night cinema. Uh, the inspiration is actually having the ground swelling and then forming this shell to protect from the sun and rain above the stage. I think just living in one city will be very dull and monotonous, and I think it kind of balances like a tripod. Currently, I am living in a triangle where like a London, Istanbul, and Cyprus, and they all offer different colors to my life. Cyprus, where I'm originated from, is um, always makes me realize that I have this unique perspective, but at the same time, as I all went in London, you're always surrounded with the most stimulating current consultants and artists and uh, the, the ideas, which is very enriching. And then in Istanbul, which is, which is love, that uh, is such a vibrant city, there's always a 24 seven vibe where East and West meet and you like you show up and you feel at home, which is, um, I think is the magic. So having all these things, all these ingredients and lives um, within this triangle, totally, I think is a good scenario for me. And um, when we're designing um, and being in the good mood, you know, whatever you live, whatever you listen, whatever you, eat, it all reflects as a projection on the, your design. I like what all these things offers me as a lifestyle, as a cities which nurture me, that I can reflect. Because it's an education environment, we wanted to make sure that there's, we have an avant-garde edge where we experiment and try to show another perspective. And this gave me the opportunity to actually um, contribute to the identity of the university. And so, and some of the projects is already um, associated with the university as their face. In, in addition, we have uh, Nejat British College, which is a campus 
uh, which, which we completed the uh, first phase and still uh, we have a second phase to go. Um, besides Cyprus projects, I have um, ongoing projects in Bodrum. We are doing villa projects in Gümüşlük and we have another one which is uh, in process in Bolu, which is three hours north of uh, Istanbul in the uh, Black Sea region. I like to doing big projects because we have more maneuver, but I like doing small projects as well. I mean, residentials, products. With my architecture, I would like to underline that architecture can contribute your um, life and your mood, and at the same time, um, it can communicate. To his, uh, it, it makes a change. It's, it's a, it's, it matters. On that note, I like doing projects which actually um, has the capability of uh, doing the change. Thank you.